can't see them. But they're there somewhere. Geese are com the geese have come back. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, we just got done feeding cows for the night. Gave them 25 rolls. Uh, it's drying up. It's drying up pretty good. Uh, by the the bales there where there's still frost. Uh, it's a little wet there, so I'm having a hard time with the two-wheel drive. So Sean was with the other tractor. He could do it easy with front wheel assist. I'm going to have to give up on the two-wheel drive for a while now. I came here with the D8 Cat. I cleaned the back side of the near out. The other day I did the front side, but uh, there's some straw here. And as you can see, any little bit of straw that's on the ground, it just keeps the frost in and the snow and ice won't melt. So I kind of roughed that up so we would get rid of that. Picked up some twines. Uh, I wanted to show couple people were asking what I bought at the auction and there it is not the wagon the POS wagon <laughs> the grain or the grain trailer the gravel trailer it's a three dump cross dump and it's I think it's a McCoy yeah I picked that up at the sale last Tuesday and it's not bad it's a 20 21 or 20 20 yard I was gonna say 20 I think he said 22 but 20 yard trailer uh, it's got a little rust on it but it's not bad I am going to purchase a sandblaster because I do a lot of painting I haven't done a lot of painting lately but I do a lot of painting and not professionally but uh, I would like to purchase a sandblaster and I don't think it would take much to uh, blast this baby off. Uh, 11 fives, tandem. Uh, here's the, I um, wasn't quite sure. It has the couple brake pots for uh, letting release the, the dump. You can do it manually, which I did. Uh, you have to, uh, the guy was telling me, he said just, this way he did it was he had a cord an extension cord and what he did was he just had because he used different trucks uh, he would uh, wired in wired into his truck through the cigarette lighter uh, I don't know how he got it into the cab but uh, yeah he put it in hooked it up to a cigarette lighter to a and then to a toggle switch cigarette lighter to get your 12 volts and uh, a toggle switch which would uh, he said it was on neutral and on on the other side so he would just hit that and it would send the power and open it up and close it I, I guess so I was just wondering though what would be a safety on here so it doesn't open up Are you sure we wouldn't want that to open up on down the road carrying some gravel so but anyway, yeah, that's that's going to be my project. We'll be painting it up. I think I should uh, keep it white or go to a different color. White's the easiest and the cheapest, but everything is all white. So I'll paint up the, the 2x8 on the top. Uh, I saw a couple grain trailers today. We, we hauled in a load of grain today, and they were uh, a, a golden brown. I thought that was pretty pretty nice looking. So yeah, that was my uh, auction purchase, along with the GPS, which I will have to uh, start ins installing soon. Uh, there's my air seeder over there. It's hooked up to the 9280 right now. And uh, I'll have to get that fired up soon. Uh, yeah, so that's all for now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If I should uh, keep it white or change it a different color. Let me know your comments on the sandblaster. What kind of good sandblasters there are out there. And uh, preferably Canadian made ones. Because, you know, there's more places to get those around there than in, out of the States. But if they sell them in Canada, I don't care. Whatever. 
give me give me some recommendations if you have any so anyway yeah that's uh that's all for now thanks for watching and uh i might have a live stream here sometime soon so keep an eye out for that on instagram I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so just look under the description there and you'll see how to add me. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, uh, click like, and uh, subscribe. See you later.